In a draft full of defensive talent, many studs were overlooked, and so now are looking to show what got them there in the first place. Although there was a ton of underrated talent, there are not many on the level of a former Northwestern star cornerback in Greg Newsom. Martinez fakes it to Mills. There's a deep shot down the seam. Tipped and knocked away. Out of the Windy City in Chicago, Greg was a monster on the football field early on. And in fact, his buddy Tyreek Henderson said that Greg was one of, if not the fastest players on the field every single game that they played together. Not only was Greg just incredible on the gridiron, but he also was a great sprinter and basketball player. In fact, Greg thought he was the quote unquote best basketball player there was. A pretty big statement for a football star, but as talented as Greg is, I bet he was a beast on the courts. When playing basketball, Greg out-rebounded bigs and had ridiculous speed and upon that next level athleticism that made him nearly unstoppable on the courts. Instead of continuing his talent to college, Greg decided to choose football because of the greater opportunities for someone who would be undersized on the basketball courts. His mother knew this early on and because of it took Greg out of basketball and in doing so created a stud on the football field. Fast forward to his junior year at high school, and Greg was on another level, as he nearly upset the future state champion East St. Louis with three touchdowns as a wideout. Crazy enough, the team lost on a Hail Mary, which is a pretty sour note to end on. Following the rough L, Greg decided to get his name out there by transferring to IMG Academy, and the higher level of competition proved that Greg could hold his own. Out of IMG, Greg was a three-star, with interest from schools like Arkansas and Northwestern, and eventually decided to choose the Wildcats because of a great head coach in Pat Fitzgerald, a guy that Greg knew would be there his entire college career. Upon that, his parents liked that the academics was great, and crazy enough, it was also only a 30 minute drive from his home in Chicago. As a freshman, Greg surprisingly got a decent amount of work as he played in 6 games and had over 20 tackles and 4 pass deflections. Going into his sophomore season, Greg was motivated to prove that he can hold his own in a rough Big Ten. Lining up against some of the best players in the nation and performing well is tough, but Greg was no joke and upped his production as a sophomore. That year, Greg had over 35 tackles, 9 pass deflections, and a forced fumble in only 8 games. What's important to consider with these stats is the fact that a lot of quarterbacks are not going to test Greg's side of the field, and so his stats look much more deflated than his actual play. Greg was looking to show out the following year as a junior, but a virus shorted season limited Greg's production to only 12 tackles, 9 pass deflections, and his sole interception at Northwestern. All of this in 4 games is impressive, but the fact that he only had 1 pick in 2.5 years with the Wildcats is even more insane. It makes more sense when you think about the fact that Greg was practically a wash with a lack of targets by quarterbacks in his time with Northwestern. In fact, Greg was so good that he only allowed a 31.7 passer rating when targeted with not a single touchdown allowed. Even more impressive than that is the fact that he only allowed 12 catches with the crazy 10 deflections making him a matchup nightmare. As an All-American in 2020, Greg figured it was the time to make the trip to the next level as he declared for the 2021 NFL Draft. At Northwestern's Pro Day, Greg was on point with a 4.39 40-yard dash and a 40-inch vertical that showed his one-of-a-kind athleticism was no joke. Following a stellar pro day, Greg was a borderline top 20 prospect going into the draft, and upon that one of the best defensive talents in the whole shebang. We have Gregory Newsom II. With the 26th pick, Greg became a Brown and only had to move a few states over to join a Cleveland unit that is looking for Lombardi. Crazy enough, Greg was not the only Wildcat to go first round, as good old Rashawn Slater went 13th overall to the Chargers. Nonetheless, Greg was the fourth quarterback selected, only behind J.C. Horn to Carolina, Patrick Sertain to Denver, and Caleb Farley to Tennessee. Although the fourth guy on the board, Greg thinks that he was the best available, and so now it's up to him to prove it. A guy like Greg brings a lot to the table with a ridiculous quickness that allows him to play all across the field and makes it very difficult on wide receivers of any kind. His athleticism will help the Browns secondary quite a bit and will allow him to play all over the defense. Adding on to that, Greg's ball hawking ability will lead to a lot of future pass breakups and headaches for OCs on the other side. Not only is Greg just good at disrupting wideouts, but he is also great at avoiding penalties and maintaining his composure with a no-nonsense mentality. It doesn't matter if he misses a read or messes up, Greg will run his tail off and track down whoever he needs to in order to prevent big plays. 
Upon his ability in the coverage game, Greg is also a surprisingly solid tackler, and unlike most guys at his position, he can actually wrap up. A big part of the reason why he tackles so well is that his form is impressive, as he can stay standard and use his deceiving power to take down players much larger than him. As a whole, Greg is one of those guys that just elevates a defense wherever he makes an impact. Before we talk about my man Greg, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe for more stuff like this, turn on noties in order to stay tuned, and grab a shirt if you want. Anyways, back to the video. Going first round is great for any player, but for a guy as talented as Greg, it is the baseline for his potential. Coming out of IMG as a 3 star meant that Greg was underrated from the beginning, so proving that he is one of the best at what he does is nothing new. Greg might be the best quarterback in the draft, and even more so than that, a big part of a Super Bowl winning Browns team. Unless Cleveland has a slump in 21, I could see them contending with the Mahomes-led Chiefs and Josh Allen Bills with some new additions in not only Greg, but Clowney, John Johnson, and Anthony Walker all joining the defense. Keep in mind that the Browns were a first down stop away from an AFC Championship game that they definitely could have won. Nonetheless, the Browns defense is looking fierce going into 2021, and it's going to be a tough task to go up against such a well-rounded offense and defense in Cleveland. But back to Greg, and all these skills are already translating to the page as he is impressing in camp with his insane speed and ball hawking abilities. Going up against talent like Jarvis Landry and OBJ will be good practice for Greg early on and will make that adjustment to NFL caliber talent much easier than it would have been otherwise. In fact, I think that if Greg carries on the trajectory he is on now, then he might be in the rookie of the year talk on a winning team in Cleveland. Greg Newsom believes that he is the best quarterback in the draft and so now it's up to him to prove whether or not he was right. Marks fires, they think it's an interception on the Northwestern sideline, and it is. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed, it would be awesome if you guys could subscribe, like, and comment down below for more videos like this. Anyways, see you all soon, and peace out.